welcome. Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. If this is your first time joining us, thank you so much. I'm Kathy Fillion, and today I've got a cool tutorial to share with you. I'm gonna show you how you can take those canvas pencil bags and create character bags just using paper napkins and fabric Mod Podge. I've got 10 different designs to share with you with all sorts of tips and tricks. These are perfect for tucking into a backpack for school or your summer adventures. All right, let's get to it. I'm using cotton zipper pouches. You can get these at craft stores and online and paper napkins. We're gonna use Mod Podge fabric and create these adorable zipper bags. First, we're gonna separate the plies of our napkin. This is an all over printed design here. I'm just using a piece of tape to pull off that first layer. And then this napkin has two layers for the background. So we're gonna pull off both layers and just use that top printed area. Now this has got a pretty heavy crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a dry iron over that just to help get some of that deep wrinkle out. Then you just measure your napkin onto the front of your zipper pouch, highlighting the area that you want to display. Then trim down your napkin to size, it's really this easy, and line it up across the top and just make sure you trim it all the way around. It's okay if you have a little overhang because we'll be able to trim that off later. Then we're gonna saturate the whole front of it with a thick layer of the Fabric Mod Podge. It's important that you use the Fabric Mod Podge for this. I'm not doing a top coat on this because generally the napkin just soaks right in and it um, becomes more like a leather. This is just a little spritz of water here you may or may not want to do the water technique. I think it helps remove wrinkles. Then we're just gonna go ahead and put our napkin down and smooth that to the edges. I like to start at the top, lining up that top zipper. Don't worry if you see a little bit of wrinkles right now, those will dissolve once it starts the drying process. You can use scissors to trim away any extra that overhangs on any of the sides and then rub with your finger to secure. Once it's dry, look how cute it turns out. And here's another all over design, a Super Mario one. You can also cut out an image. So this is a little bit different where you're gonna cut out the graphic that you wanna feature on the zipper bag. I like to place it onto the bag and then I rub with my fingernail or a toothpick to create a line where I'm going to apply our Mod Podge. So I'm gonna apply the fabric Mod Podge everywhere on the inside of that little line that I made with my fingernail. So I'm doing that same thick coat of Mod Podge and then I'll place my napkin right on top of it. For this graphic, I did not add any extra water because it's small and it has black ink, which sometimes smears. Then I'm using a dry brush just to smooth that down and scissoring off the extra. Look how cool this one turns out. And here's another one that's pieced together. All right, here's another piecing technique. I'm just taking water and feathering that edge along the image that I want, and that's gonna create a blendable edge. This is a great technique when you have really detailed things to cut out. Now here's a two-part design, so I'm going to piece these two together just by simply adding them in small layers. I like to add the little pieces first, and then I'm adding my big pieces. And again, that's a dry brush that I'm going over it just to smooth down those edges and help with wrinkles. Look how cute she turns out when she's all dry. Here's another piecing technique, but these were straight edges. Okay, now that you've learned the basics on how you get your napkin down to your canvas bag, let's look at some different ways to trick them out. I love using these industrial stickers. These are chenille patches. This is a fun way to customize. You can stick them directly onto your bag and they really stick well. Look how cute these turn out for a little added initial. Now they also come in some fun shapes like these butterflies too. Of course, I love adding gems. You know, it's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna brush on my gem glue using my Mod Podge detail paintbrush. And I'm just gonna set my gems following the design of the napkin. This turns out so gorgeous, and you really don't need to be very good at this because you just follow the pattern. Look how stunning. Now, I also like to add little things to the zippers, so look for some tassels, even some old jewelry you can repurpose. Open up a jump ring and stick it right there on your zipper. Really cute little zipper pulls. So tassels are cute, but look for some small little leather tabs and other types of things that you can do as well. 
Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. One question that I always get is, where do you get your napkins? Now, I look all over for napkins, and when I see one that I love, I do snatch it up. But party stores, dollar stores, all your big box stores, all your craft stores have adorable napkins, and you can even look online for napkin exchange groups, and you can find them on Etsy. All right, thanks so much for being here today. I'll be back next week with another fun video to share with you, and until then, have a super crafty week.